I've been lucky enough to drive some great cars, but driving a Formula car was always on my bucket list. And to be the first woman journalist to get behind the wheel of a Generation 2 Formula E car, well, that's something special. And it's a story that just has to be told, but let's start at the beginning. What you see behind me is the Gen 1 car from Mahindra's Formula E racing team. Well, I'm here at this center to get into a simulator and see what it is to go around their test track because tomorrow I'm going to do that in the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 cars. It's one thing to be alongside the ace drivers in the pits during a race and completely another to be getting instructed by them. It's intimidating. Yeah. Are you feeling? You know, you can drive with it if you need. No, I don't need. Ah, okay. I don't need it for there. If I have to see something here, I might. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, can, I think you'll I be fine it, yeah. there. It's okay yeah, for you. Yeah. Can. can you accelerate properly and? Yeah. But yeah. are you sure you have enough strength? Because you really can. You put it more there. Honestly, it's not enough. Like, can you? Don't wait enough time. Okay. Let's try again now. And continue and do the big I had Jerome D'Ambrosio, the ex F1 driver, and Team Mahindra Racing Formula E driver smiling and telling me what to do along with the race engineers. That itself was intimidating. What's worse is that it took me all of three to four laps to get completely sick. And by sick, I mean green in the face. Yeah, it's. Uh, and, but normally you do one. You, how many laps did you do? Two, three. Okay. Because there's. In some simulators in the beginning, there's always like an acclimatization moment yeah. time where you do one lap, two laps, you come out, you try another five, six, and you get your brain slowly into it. Yeah. Do you, you never play video game or these things? No, I do, but then that's... Yeah. It's not like this all around you. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine how Jerome spent hours in a sim before each race. I didn't even get back in. My head was spinning so much and I was miserable. My face the next morning said it all. Okay, that's the helmet bag and me as ready as we could be for the day. This is the day I get into the Formula E car. Now yesterday in the simulator wasn't a great day for me. And why is that? Well, you know, me being static and all that moving around me, I got terribly, terribly, terribly sick. I guess I'm not a gamer. I need to be in the real car. So let's see how today goes. Okay, so a little bit of nerves and a lot of excitement because I'm about to get into the Gen 2 Formula E car. Boy, this is something I have been looking forward to for a very long time. I can't wait to go out and get my hands behind the wheel. Fingers crossed. The halo makes it tough to get into the car and I thought it would be in my line of vision but honestly it completely disappeared once I hit the track and I didn't even notice it. There's no sound of a revving engine, just the wind and the whine from the motor so you get up to crazy speeds before realising it. I was a little ginger on the first round since I hadn't familiarised myself on the sim and I was not sure how the brakes would react, if they would be as hard as they were on the sim. But by the end of the first lap, I was having a blast. The Gen 2 car felt incredibly balanced and easy to drive even for me. It's quick and how. I was braking progressively into corners, but I did slam them a couple of times and felt the massive twitch of the tail ready to let loose. Power too early if you haven't straightened out the wheels and it will spin. But thankfully, I managed to hold it all together and the three laps ended all too soon. The experience is indescribable and insane. And imagine we only had 60% of the actual power. Whew. That was just absolutely, simply amazing. I mean, there's just so much instant talk and you put your foot flat and you're just going at it. And the track is great. I mean, uh, 
lots of corners to keep you engaged completely throughout. Uh, wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. It's just amazing and I just can't wait to get back behind the wheel of a car and get out again. The Gen 1 car felt like a whole different world. You can see how much more effort I had to put in at the wheel. And how much more I was moving around in the car compared to Gen 2. Although the car is slower, it just looks like I'm driving harder because it was harder to hold it all together. The Gen 1 just doesn't feel as settled and you literally have to stand on the brakes to get them to work. Obviously, I just didn't do enough and landed in the gravel. So I'm still smiling because it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. But this time I had a ride back, which is why you don't see the car behind me because I managed to get the car into gravel. A lot of difference between the Gen 2 and the Gen 1 car for me. It was a lesson on how quickly things have evolved in Formula E. And how much the aero, the brakes and the power have progressed between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 cars. After driving these cars, the respect for the drivers, the sport and above all Mahindra racing has grown in leaps and bounds. It's pretty amazing. I mean, there, there, there's just emotion and so much emotion in the team Mahindra that actually goes into this, the passion that I've really seen. And I mean, of course, it's one thing to witness a race, but then to get here, and come and be able to drive these cars. It's, it's, it's a fabulous experience. I can't tell you what it feels like to get behind a wheel of one of these and drive it. You just have to be there for yourself. This smile, I guess, on my face says it all.